Hi guys, today we are going to do a oil change with a filter change on a 2019 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. And the tools that we're going to need are a creeper, um, of course the oil filter, but today we're going with Mobile One Extended Performance, uh, 6 quarts of zero weight 20. Mobile One Extended Performance, a 10 millimeter socket, a 14 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, a ratchet, and um, a Toyota oil filter um, removal cup. And it has to be Toyota because they are special because they have the grooves right here which we'll show you later on. So let's get started. Okay, so if you have the TRD off-road, you will be having a skid plate here. And this is where you're gonna have to take out this little part right here of the skid plate so you can get to the drain plug. So what you're gonna need is, we're just gonna use a ratchet here and it is going to be a 12 millimeter socket. So let's get this off. Now that we got the oil um, drain plug cover off, um, we're gonna have to take off uh, the uh, part of the skid plate. We don't have to take off the rear of the skid plate, but we do have to take off this front of the skid plate. So in order to take off the front skid plate, we're gonna have to loosen up um, this little plastic covering. So, uh, it's a 10 millimeter socket, two uh, 10 millimeter bolts here and here, and a rivet pop right here. And all you need is a little screwdriver to pop off uh, this little uh, gray. So you just get underneath here and pop it off with the screwdriver and it should just come off like that. And now we're gonna have to take off this covering. So it is a uh, 12 millimeter bolt right here and here and then a 13 millimeter in the rear which is here and here so we're gonna take this off and uh, get to the next step now that we got the skid plate off uh, we have access to the oil filter which is right there guys right underneath the skid plate so we got everything off that we need so it's smooth sailing from here. Um, quick tip to drain oil faster, um, take off the oil fill cap, which is on the left side of the truck, and uh, the dipstick, which is on the right side of the truck. Um, just drains faster, guys. And uh, we need a 14 millimeter um, socket to take off the drain plug, which is the cover that we removed uh, way back, guys. <laughs> Um, which is right here the oil drain plug and 40 millimeter we're just gonna take it off and uh, let's get draining guys alright guys while the oil is finished draining um, we're going to remove the oil filter cap so what we need is the Toyota um, oil filter removal um, so we gonna we gotta do is there's three prongs right here so we got to put the three prongs right on the designated prong sockets uh, let's see if I could do it again okay now that we got the oil filter off uh, we're gonna go ahead and swap the old one with the new one and don't forget to um, change out the little gasket here guys the little rubber gasket right here we're gonna change it with the new one also um, and uh, don't forget guys to put back the drain plug a lot of people forget that so do not forget that because when you add oil in it'll just leak right out okay so now that we swapped out the oil filter uh, we put back the drain plug where we took it off and we are screwing back on the oil filter 
with the oil filter wrench from Toyota. Just put it back in the grooves. Three with the three, two with the two, and then just tighten it back up, guys. Okay, guys, so now that we added the oil filter and we put the drain plug back in, um, put back in the skid plate, guys. Uh, the 13 millimeter bolts in the rear, they're in there, 12 millimeters in the front, and uh, uh, make sure that, you know, that just like before, this goes underneath the plastic covering. And uh, we're gonna put that in, guys. And now the final step is to add the oil. Um, we're just gonna use a funnel and mobile one guys and we're done just add the oil in we are finished hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and happy oil changing guys bye bye